Welcome to another episode of LEGO Worlds. In today's episode, we are actually using a camera for the very first time. And I will be straightening things out in, in this room so it looks better. Um, I wasn't sure how much of the camera I was going to see in my room at this point. But it will have to get better over time until I figure out what, what I'm doing. So this is the first time I'm using the ca camera because you guys told me to go get a camera. So that's what I did. So I don't want to hear anymore. I don't have a camera. <laughs> But yeah, I got a ca camera so I can sh sh show my f face and reactions when playing a game. Um, as of right now, this is just being a separate recording. I'm going to test the camera out and see which one I prefer doing. And this LEGO World episode is tying into the last LEGO World episode with all the changes that are being made. The screen name will go back to Utrom, so don't worry about, about the screen name. It, ha ha it had an accident and I gotta try and fix it, but it won't be till 90 days, is what they told me. So I have to wait 90 days before fixing it. And I'm glad for everyone that subscribed to me. We have over 800 subscribers, which I'm su very surprised. I do have a game on pre-order for the, uh, the ch channel that I hope you guys will like. That's not Legos. I know you guys like LEGO Worlds, I know that's what you want me to do, and that's what I normally do, is LEGO Worlds. But I want to uh, diverse the channel a little bit. So I'm going to still do LEGO Worlds, but I'm also going to try and do other videos at the same time. Which means I'm going to have to make a schedule of what videos is going out what day, or how many videos go out per day. So right now I'm finishing up the floor of my office, as you can see in the background. In my LEGO game. So this is all new to me, so you gotta bear with me, I'm not used to having a camera in front of me. <laughs> and I will start doing episodes with the camera, I will start trying to do things a little bit better on a show. If you have any comments or questions about the camera, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any comments, questions about my videos, that's fine. Leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. I do know the, um, I noticed the camera will pick up sounds around me because Apparently, you can't have the earphones and, I guess, camera all wrapped up to get at separate devices. <laughs> I have to find out how that works. Um, so, this is me just testing out the camera on this video. And I gotta say, this camera is pretty neat. I was surprised when I first <laughs> plugged it in um, what it said it does. 
which I want to test that feature out later. Um, the camera's supposed to turn the PS4 on just by recognition, which I think is very interesting. And I would say this is a very smart camera. So today when I got the ca camera, I was going to go to the D Destiny reveal today, but I decided to go out and get the camera today. I will be watching the reveal for Destiny 2 because I'm just curious what they're going to do with uh, Destiny 2 before I put any more money into that. If I put more money into that, I should say. But as of right now, I'm sticking with Legos. I'm going to be doing Plants vs. Zombies 2, Garden Warfare 2 until E3 because E3 might actually have some thing new for Plants vs. Zombies, I'm hoping. I have one game that's coming out between next week it will be here and it's a game that was talked about but not much hype about but from what I saw of it it should have hype um, I don't know if there's a fan base for it or not but it's a game I want to play, and I think you guys will like it. So basically, this is sort of my <laughs> studio. I'm going to be working to make this place a little bit better. Um... I'm surprised um, that the camera picks up so much of stuff in, in this room. Um, I was shocked when I turned it on and I had to move a few things. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and sp spruce up the. the the back because you can probably see in the background over here um, my stuff uh, back there is like my mind chest my Legos my DVD c collection which ha has to be uh, apparently moved I don't know where I'm moving it to yet Because I, I've been moving things around here and there, trying to make stuff fit ever since I moved back into t to the old ha house, and I ran out of s uh, <laughs> space, I should say, <laughs> with everything. So I w will be taking care of that later. So as you can see, I'm working on this office building, and I use the corner windows. I don't like the way the uh, corner that I have the corner sticking out. You can see where I have like the little flower petal type Lego. Um, what I want to do is later go back and try and make it fit the uh, way the corners are. So I'm going to do that. But I figured i uh, work on the orifice, build the ceiling and everything. And right now i got three buildings in, in my city or t town. Which are, aren't complete complete because I want to furnish them. I want to add roads and make it more decorative. But 
I need a starting point, and this is my start starting point. It will get better over time. But at the same time, I want to keep building uh, buildings across the way. And I have an idea of making a futuristic <laughs> type house. But I haven't had the idea of how to go about building it. So it's another thing I want to play around with. Which I'll do off t to the side, and if I can get it the way I want it, then I'll just bring it over to where I want it to be brought over. I will be doing the How to Build series again. Which, I will start doing that, that sh shortly. I just took a break and did some other games. I've been working on a lot of app games. I've been working on a lot of games with my friends. And I f felt that it was t time to go back to Legos and do some more Lego stuff. So I'm going to start building a city and I want to make it eventually futuristic if I can. I haven't decided how I'm going to design it yet or what it's going to look like. I'm just going to build to see where it goes. That's all I can do. And I'm pretty sure you guys want uh, 30 minute videos, <laughs> none of the uh, short videos that I've been uh, d doing lately. So I'm going to see if I can make the videos exactly th close to 30 minutes or a little bit over 30, but not too much over. I was going to have um, this video up, up and ready by today at the normal scheduled time, but I was getting the camera today, so this is going up a little bit later than expected. I will definitely be having more co content in the coming days. I'm looking forward to E3, and the reason I'm looking forward to E3 is to see if there's any LEGO World announcements. And the reason I'm saying that is it's been quiet, and I have to say it's been quiet on both of their pages. I don't know if it's because they've been busy with the other games that's been quiet. Or have they been busy prepping for E3? And the only thing I know they do is they trickle out one place set per week. Which I'm ha happy that they do that. But my th thing is, will there be more DLC coming? Um, my other th thing is what sets can we expect, if any. And if and when Survivor comes out, because I know that's on hold, or like people call it a hiatus. And they said they were going to be working on game features, which they didn't say what features that they're working on, and the only features I <laughs> came up with is weather features would be nice to have. Like in one biome, you can have it like rain, or ha have like light lightning and stuff like that, but it would almost be like Minecraft weather features. But instead, it would be uh, Pacific biome based 
I would think. So th those are the ideas that I would somewhat would like to see in Le Lego World. I know everybody wants a vehicle creator, and the reason I don't think we're getting the vehicle creator is because they're giving us the vehicles already built. But yeah, it would be nice to have a vehicle creator where you can create your own vehicles. Um, the other thing I would like to see is more uh, Lego bricks. Um, there's a couple of there's actually a lot of bricks that I considered missing, but there's a couple of bricks I would like to have to build stuff with. And I don't know if we'll ever see those bricks. Because the set they gave us is the core set for the classic house building. And that's all you can really do is build houses or build like hotels and stuff like that. You can't get too too uh, f fancy with it, it seems. But knowing me, I will figure a way to try and make it as fancy as possible. If you ever seen some of my old Minecraft videos. I used to make my houses way, way too fancy. <laughs> I usually go overboard. So now that we have our roof done, I'm going to set it to daytime. Which is very hard to tell how it's daytime in this house because of the sh shadowing of the uh, bricks. So yeah, working on a city project like this is going to take time. It's not going to be done o overnight. I mean, I got one house going. I got a shopping center. And this is going to be an office building that I'm working on. Which it's going to take t time right now. It's only got one floor. I might add a couple floors to it. I might just keep building it upwards a little bit. But for now, it's done <laughs> for this episode so I'm going to start working on some other things in this episode and one of the things I was working on was trying to landscape and put down walkways which uh, is not easy. I'm learning that, that the landscape tools aren't what I thought they were. <laughs> Which you'll see after I f finish the uh, roof on this. Uh, my fr friend's got a list of games he wants to get and most of the, the, the ga games he gets it seems interesting. Um, they were all shooters. <laughs> and I only have like one shooting game I want to get right now. That's the uh, Battlefield 5. But I'm waiting to hold off E3 to see what other games are going to have that might interest me. Because you got the LEGO DC game coming out, you got the LEGO Incredible game, which is coming out soon. Which, I don't know if you guys want me to do LEGO's Incredibles, if you do, leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what games you might want to see me do on this channel. 
it will help the channel out. Besides the game I already have picked because the game I have picked corresponds with something really, really, I think, good. And I actually enjoyed the series thus far. And I said, yeah, that game's. I gotta play that game. <laughs> So this is actually my first um, real video with a camera, and to tell you the truth, it feels uh, weird to me. I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I usually do some camera work, not a lot, a lot of camera work using the um, computer ca camera when I get get a chance when it's with uh, computer computer stuff like unboxing um, I'm doing the little, little Lego things that, that I do which I did get a new Lego set but I was <laughs> too eager to have him build it today and I know I should have probably made a video of that but that's okay, they'll be out of way your sets that'll get down the line. I'm still waiting for the Minecraft update to happen. Cause a lot of YouTubers are saying that the PS4 is gonna get the Opera update. I know Phase 2 is today for Bedrock Edition. So, when the PS4 ever going to see it, I don't know. So, right now, you can see on the screen, I'm using the landscape tool. I don't know what I'm doing with these tools. So, it's like I have an idea of how to fix it, but I don't know which tool to use to fix it. <laughs> but it, it was fun using the uh, landscape tools because it tells me what the tools do or how I can go about trying to fix something. And it's the first time I'm using the landscape tool. And I mean actually using it. Normally I just flatten out the land, build on it, that's it. Well, this time we're trying to keep the land landscaped, like hills and mountains, and try to build on it. Unless we need a flat surface, so it's going to be something to play with, something to get used to. Who knows, I might actually build on a mountain one day. <laughs> in this game. So th this is fun using the landscape tools. I I'm learning a little bit what each tool can somewhat do. Change the terrain of the uh, world. So this is an, to me, this is an interesting video because I'm using the landscape tool. I'm trying to build you guys a little city, and I will bring back the how to build series, which I like doing a lot to build places and stuff. But for right now, it's just going to be the city building till the next game that pre-order comes out. Then it's going to be th that game with LEGO Worlds on the channel. Which I haven't decided if it's both going up the same day or if it's going to be one day after the other. So I have a lot to, um, on my plate, I have to try and schedule it out.
so all in all, I think the ca camera looks kind of weird for me, but that's why me. I don't know how you guys will react to it. Leave down in the comment section below how you guys like the camera. And, and well, well, comments do help the channel out. Even the negative ones help the channel out, <laughs> apparently. Because <laughs> I'm all in it for the chaos. <laughs> and the chaos theory here. So here, I'm just trying to clear up the pieces I don't need on my walkway. That I'm making here. It was going to be a road, but I'm going to use that as a walkway at this point. Because I already got road pieces, so I figured this was going to be a special type of walkway. And it's going to have two lanes in it. Like, they tell you, you walk on one side while the other group's going the other way, walking on the other side. So here I'm just clearing up the uh, mess on the walkway so we can see the walkway better. So, basically, I'm done, I guess, rambling on. Because <laughs> I know you guys don't like me rambling on a lot, apparently. Well, some of you do, some of you don't. It's like 50-50. But, like everybody says, you can't please everybody in the world. I mean, if that that's the case, everybody would be happy. <laughs> and you wouldn't be going to store making different choices. And everybody's got a different preference, different choices, different views on things. So I tr try my best to do these videos. I tr try my best to get the content out to you guys. Right now I'm not using my <laughs> headset. That's another thing I find interesting. I don't need my headset to uh, do commentaries anymore. The camera picks everything up, which is very interesting. So I'm learning something new about the camera. And it's a tool there just to use. So this is kind of interesting. I will live stream the new game because I want to see what it's like when I live stream and the difference between live stream